Uh, top 10 scary videos of what the fuck was that? Or what the fuck is that? Uh, by Nukes Top 5. Let me, uh, let me change scenes real fast. Hold on. All right. Here we go. Concerned father Chris from Fargo, North Dakota, says that his four-year-old son has been behaving very strangely. He says that over the last three or four days, the child has said that he just doesn't want to go in the bedroom because he says, quote, there is a monster in there. Obviously, Chris just dismissed these claims as a child's overactive imagination. Uh -huh. But then, one night at around 2 a.m., the boy is fast asleep in bed when something happens that Chris and his wife simply can't explain. Something truly shocking. boy cries out when he appears to get shoved out of bed by some invisible force. Chris says that his son cried out in shock, but thankfully, the boy was okay and completely unharmed. Chris says that the previous owner of their house passed away right in the living room, and he wonders if this tragic history has anything to do with what's happening to their son. Hold the door. A woman named Nadine has been experiencing some very Maybe, maybe, could be, could be a, a demon, right? Get out of my house, sleeping in my room. That was my bed, you little shit, right? And just shoved his ass off the bed. Or, <clears throat> for the skeptics, the kid could have just rolled off the bed and they just took the footage and sped it up to make it seem like uh, he was yanked off and forcefully shoved off. And um, elaborate hoax type shit. You can decide. Very strange and unexplained events in her home in Alabama. Now, many viewers believe that they can hear a voice whisper something after the dog barks that sounds like, lay over there. Actually, actually did hear that. But what do you hear, if anything? As I mean, for Nadine, she said- I did, I did hear something, right? I did hear a voice. I don't know, man. Animal. I, I, I always, I, I always believe that animals and children can see shit that sometimes adults can't. Animals and children, they can see shit on a different plane that we can't, on a different level that we can't, on a different. I don't know, man. They, I, I've always believed that children and animals, they, they know. It's, it's kind of like when, kind of like before a, before a storm. Or before a hurricane or before an earthquake you're gonna see animals do shit that you normally wouldn't see them do you're probably gonna see them take the fuck off and you're gonna be like the hell's, the, the hell's wrong with these birds the hell's wrong with that dog right i've always believed that and there may be some truth to that there it may be some speculation whatever whatever but says that she's a skeptic and doesn't really believe in ghosts at all but then one night, she's looking after her two-year-old daughter, Blake, and something happens that freaks her right out. Blakey, yeah. you okay? Do you want me to go open the door? Why? Oh. No, okay. Okay, I, I'm honestly freaking the f*** out and I don't know what to do. Just a couple minutes ago, I got up and I closed my door hey. because she kept pointing hey. to my room saying, You're Mommy, Mommy, back. someone's over there. Yes, and and she was terrified. She, she, was, she was terrified, of course, freaking me out. So 
I went over there and she just said, no, mommy, come here, come here, mommy, sit, sit, mommy, don't go over there. And so I called the dog and I closed the door. And as you can see, dude, she's still terrified. She's still terrified. She doesn't want me going over there. She doesn't want me to open the door. I am, dude, I'm terrified. Blakey, mommy's gonna go open the door, okay? They feed, uh, they feed off your fear. I'll be right back. It's okay. The more you're afraid, the more power, the more power you I'll give I'll be right them. back. And now she's hiding her face. It's okay, baby. Okay, okay, okay. Yo, the mom looks like okay. a girl I went to it's high okay. school with, I swear. It's okay, it's okay. Okay, tell me I'm not, what do I do? Little two-year-old Blake is terrified of something in Nadine's bedroom. So much so that Nadine has to close the door to calm her daughter down. So could it be that little Blake saw a supernatural entity? Or just what was scaring her? Let me know what you think. Alone on the farm. Tasha D and her husband move into an 1840s farmhouse in rural upstate New York. The happy couple begins to renovate their new home. But soon, Tasha begins to experience some very unsettling and unexplained events. These strange incidents only seem to occur when Tasha is home alone, so her husband is a bit skeptical. So one day, a picture frame in the house inexplicably falls to the floor. Tasha grabs her phone and starts to record in hopes of proving to her- Is Tasha a believer? That would kind of make sense why things only happen when she's home alone. It's not gonna fuck with the skeptic, right? Because it's a skeptic. It doesn't fucking believe. It's like, I'm gonna whoop this thing's out. Whatever it is, bro. It's not. It's not fucking real. Fuck this shit. It's fucking stupid. It's probably not giving it the respect it deserves. It's only gonna fuck with the you know. Her husband, that something's just not quite right in the old farmhouse. See, and you think I'm crazy. The first time I'm here by myself, there's a picture on the floor, and it just. But things soon start to get even weirder because the family dogs begin to act really strange. Look at the little baby Rottweiler, so precious, so cute. Why are you running? Another day, and Tasha is recording a candid video of her dogs to post to Snapchat when this happens. Look at them destroying the living room over one toy. <laughs> Silly. Right after posting the video to Snapchat, a worried friend reaches out to Tasha to warn her about what seems to be a strange shadow like figure moving up the wall right beside her dogs. Tasha has no idea what the creepy shadow could be, so she shares her story to TikTok, hoping to find answers. The video soon grabbed the attention of millions of concerned TikTok viewers who wonder if Tasha might have awakened a paranormal presence by renovating the 180-year-old farmhouse. And then, one night just after midnight, someone rings Tasha's doorbell. When she checks the security camera, what she sees Chills her to her core. Oh. I saw that. 
dark shadow can be seen moving towards the outside deck chair and appears to just take a seat. It then gets up, moves away towards the right, and disappears. So did Tasha and her family move into a haunted farmhouse? Could the renovations be upsetting a lingering paranormal presence, causing it to act out? Let me know what you think. Imagine. I don't know, but uh, the the rot dude. Some of the some there. There's a big time gap between some of these videos. You want to know how I know? Because there was one video where her little Rottweiler puppy was just that, a puppy. And look at the Rottweiler now, full grown. There is some time between. There is some time that 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 went by between some of these videos why the rottweiler puppy reacted the way it did when it was a puppy and it's not reacting now i don't i don't know what that shadow could be really to be honest and none of the dogs seem to be affected by it or notice it but there was a significant time passing of time between these videos so i wonder if they're still having issues on this property who knows but if it was just those three incidents, I mean, surely, I think he would have shown all of them. I don't know. It ...to act out. Let me know what you think. Maybe the Rottweiler just, like, got older and just got used to this thing being in the house. Like, at first, when it was a puppy, it was just like, oh, no. That's not normal. I don't like that. That's fucked. And then the Rottweiler grew out of being a puppy and grew into a full grown adult dog and just came to terms that there is a thing in the house and it's just like oh yeah, that's just fred i ain't really worried about that i'm gonna get back to chewing on my bone or something <coughs> who knows imaginary friend a woman from oregon says that her young daughter claims that there is something living in their basement hiding in the storage area just underneath the stairs at first, of course, the mother dismisses these claims, just thinking it's the little girl's overactive imagination. Obviously. But that same day, after hearing something strange coming from the basement, the mom decides to check the footage from their security camera. What she sees chills her to her core. Did you see it? Yeah, I did. It was a, a hand. A small pale hand can be seen reaching out from under the stairs before just disappearing. The girl saw it. I'm not sure if the cat saw it, but the girl actually waved back. The girl waved back. That's not imaginary, man. Especially if it shows up on camera. And I don't know. I, I, I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and say that this, this, this parent is putting on a show with her, with her kid just for views. That's a shitty parent. So I doubt that's the case. Her kid actually reacted to this and the kid waved back as in like, oh, hello. I, I thought I was down here by myself, but hi there. And that was it. Man, I would tear that fucking basement to shreds looking for whatever the hell that thing was. And then it's probably nothing. And then... And you gotta go get a whole bunch of fucking kerosene and gasoline and all the eens and set that shit on fire, man. Like, yikes. Even creepier, both the child and the family cat seem to spot this bizarre apparition. The little girl even seems to wave at something that we can't see. Now, unfortunately, this video was shared to the internet. Right here, she gets spooked. Look at her reaction. She's just like, Oh, uh, my mommy doesn't allow strangers in the house. What are you? But then I guess this thing didn't behave in a way that was going to cause this little girl harm. So she didn't really feel too afraid. But yeah, speaking of imaginary friends, you know that there's actually a movie that's coming out that's called Imaginary Friends with Ryan Reynolds. Actually, I saw a trailer to it the other day. I might watch that without a direct source. So we'll probably never know just what happened here. What walks in the woods? Reddit user No Recognition 1998 says that this video was caught on a trail cam 20 miles out into the Idaho woods in the middle of nowhere. 
Now, there is no reason that anyone would be this far out in these isolated woods at this time of night. So what is this? Someone or... What is this? I don't know, but... Oh, yikes. Holy shit. Uh, whatever it is, I feel like it's missing a right arm. And... Is this? Someone or something walks past a forest trail cam at four. Looks like it's missing an arm. And it's walking with a, it's walking at a very quick pace. And the way that it's walking almost makes it seem like it has to shit really, really bad. I don't know what that is, bro. Could be anything. Could be a chupacabra. Could be the spirit of Nancy Pelosi. I don't know. It could be my first ex-wife. We don't know these things. We don't have the answers. Uh, but yeah, that's to be out there in the middle of goddamn nowhere, walking around, no shirt, long ass neck like that. <laughs> Looks like he's wearing fucking bell bottoms or some shit. I don't know. 437 in the morning, in the middle of the woods, in the middle of nowhere. Curious Reddit viewers point out that this strange humanoid figure just looks kinda off. They say it's perhaps not even human at all, as it seems- It's missing an- it looks like it's missing an arm. Really. Seems to have very pale skin, thin frail arms, and a long neck. Now, is this a very lost- Out here necking in the woods, man. <laughs> Tracy, what's up? <laughs> and very strange person one it also has the... it also has no face and it almost looked like it had a tattoo or something like right here some kind of marking that it was in the shape of a heart i don't know if y'all saw that but hold on very pale skin thin frail arms and a long neck now is this a very lost and very strange person wandering around on the remote wood I don't know. I saw it in the frame previously. It's not going to show it in this one. Uh, I don't know, man. It could be... Uh, I'm not going to say it's a crackhead, bro, because there ain't no fucking crack... There's no crack out there. I doubt it's a crackhead. Crackheads are going to stay close to the source of crack. For the most part. There's no crack out here. This is the middle of the goddamn wilderness, right? So, no crack out here. Uh, one could chalk it up to a very disfigured, fucked up person that was kidnapped and left in the middle of the woods to die, and they didn't die, and now they're trying to find their way back to civilization and or help. That could be a theory. You know? Skinwalker? Nah, he pimp walking. <laughs> Kind of. Pale skin, thin frail arms, and a long neck. Now, is this a very lost and very strange person wandering around the remote woods of Idaho? Yo, Beatrice, you better have my money, bitch. I'm coming for you. As soon as I get out these goddamn woods. <laughs> it, could be, it could be that. Or is it something else? Uh... I leave that for you. Yeah, right here. You see that on his chest? On the right side of his chest, there's like a mark. That it's, that it's almost in the shape of a heart. You see where my cursor is? See that right here? Oh, no. To decide. But see, like, look at this. Something else. I leave that for you. To He's walking, 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 right? Decide. And then right here, something else, <clears throat> I leave that for you to decide. Boom. Turns around and looks behind him. Him, her, it, whatever. 
turns around and looks behind. What are you looking for, man? Is there something chasing you? I don't know. Lurking in the darkness. Now this next extremely popular video was suggested so much, probably close to a thousand times, there was really no choice but to feature it here on Nuke's Top 5. Zamber Heard looking for another bed to shit in. <laughs> that was Amber Heard when she was walking out of the courthouse. That's what she looked like. So, Dustin Frazier says that he works the night shift at an allegedly haunted hotel in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. One night, Dustin is recording a Snapchat video to send to his friend when something happens that makes his blood run cold. I just got to work and I feel like, ugh. Like all day today, I felt bad. Almost it's less like a little bit, I felt bad. And I don't know, I just, like I feel like I need to go to the doctor, but like I'm constantly just like nauseous. And I don't really know why, like I have tried to like- What? Take Hold on, holy shit, that got me. Jesus, what the fuck? Hold on, uh, hold on. I think we found out what's making you feel sick, Dustin. I think that's that's what it said his name was. I, like I, bruh, bruh, <laughs> do you see it? <laughs> do you see it? <laughs> no. Maybe that could just be like a coat rack or like, I don't know, some weird looking fucking mop that's leaned up against the wall. But to me, it looks like a face. Have tried to like take medicine for it and stuff, but I, I don't know. It doesn't seem like it really does anything. Um, but if you wanted to swing by, um, and say hey like you could oh i can't see i also hate that they always keep this room so dark like come on now but anyways yeah if you wanted to swing by and say hey then you know you could but yeah i'm just chilling throughout the video strange voices and whispering can be heard I felt bad. Honestly, it's like yeah, I heard all of that stuff. I, I just we need to get to the to the fucking elephant in the room here. It's like a little bit. I'd to like take that sort of thing. Um, and I also hate that they always keep this room so fucking dark. Like, come on now. But creepiest of all, something can be seen standing in the shadows I just behind Dustin. Oh my. God. God, and it's just, fuck, dude, that's probably why you're sick. It's probably why you don't feel good. Paranormal presences. Paranormal things in the area can just, I don't know, man, maybe it can just cause you to feel ill, bro. Like a fucking sickness, like a virus, like a, just like a dark cloud just lingering over your head, right? Everywhere else it's sunny except for you. Right, and look at that thing. And he didn't see it. He walked, he looked at that wall because he walked in that direction. But the camera saw it. Not once, but twice. Some dark figure with a distorted skeletal face. Now at the time I'm recording this story, this video has gained a massive audience of over 19 million viewers, making it the most popular and most suggested video. But is it real or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You just I mean, could be, bro. He works at a, a haunted hotel in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Uh, so him and some co-workers could just be, you know, doing him and his co-workers to just have a case of the fuck arounds, right? Make up this elaborate story. We don't know, but if it is, man, I think you should transfer to another hotel. Really? Tell your manager. Hey, I, I think I need to. I think I need to go to the one downtown or something, or uh, 
something. We need scary videos. So if you see a scary video that you think would be great on the top five, email us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Caught good. on camera. Reddit user Justin says that he and his family recently bought and moved into a historic 1800s terrace house in London, England. But during renovations, Justin says his doorbell security camera caught something really creepy. Renovation. Oh, wait, I, the, hold on, no. Around 10 p.m. at night, someone or something can be seen quickly taking a peek at Justin's front door. Then whoever or whatever it is appears to walk past the car in the driveway before disappearing off camera. Now with the house's 200 year history, Justin is worried that his renovations might have triggered some- That's what, exactly what I was gonna say. Renovations. You're, you're, you're disturbing is what it is. You're disturbing. It's almost like uh it's almost like grave robbing. It's almost like fucking with uh with like uh it's almost like fucking with uh with like graveyards and shit. You 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 don't yeah. Disturbance <clears throat> and uh sometimes that might bring out the the crazies, right? Some paranormal presence to act out. Mm -hmm. But worried Reddit viewers warn Justin that he might be dealing with something even scarier, a trespassing stranger that is scoping out his house for unknown reasons. So is this a ghost or is this a very real and potentially dangerous person? You decide. It could be both. I mean, this one, okay, so this one. Ill and potentially dangerous. That right there, I mean, it could be, right? Because everything looks, everything else looks clear. The car looks clear. The doorway looks clear. The lights in the background look clear. Hell, you can even see a building across the street. Yet for some reason, whatever, th if this is a person, where is its face? Where is its clothes? Where is its skin? Why does it look just like one long, I don't know, just looks like semen coming through the side of the wall. Right? However, what walks around the car, that might just be a person. Because I did see, like, a dark figure, like, going through the, going past the windows of the car. That could be a person. This right here, though, I don't know what the fuck that is. I don't know what that is. <clears throat> I couldn't even tell you. So, I guess just watch out for both. Watch out for anything paranormal. That... And then just watch out for someone pro probably trying to rob you, I guess, because you're doing renovations. Maybe not. Maybe not. All, maybe not all the locks work or something like that. Uh, so careful, I suppose. Person, you decide. Frozen in fear. In this creepy video, a woman begins recording when her dog refuses to come back inside their house. Mm. The dog seems frozen in place and refuses to even look back at his owner as she calls to him. Nigel, what are you doing? Oh, that dog is like ready to pounce on something. Nigel. See it? That dog is in protect mode. Look at it. That dog is ready to leap. It is ready to fuck you up. Um, hello? <gasps> the dog appears to be frozen in fear as it stares at something behind the shed in their backyard. Yo, and the way she reacted. <gasps> when the woman slowly looked. I've seen dogs do that, bro. I have. And the only times dogs will do that is if they are ready to attack. Man. Same with lions, cougars, tigers. They get in a very low profile and they get ready to... They just get ready to launch themselves. 
right? Like, and that's why your dog's not looking back at you, because if he looks back at you, he loses sight of the threat, whatever that shit is. Looks around the corner, her heart almost stops as she sees two creepy glowing eyes staring right back at her. I mean, it is a camera, right? And you know how like sometimes you'll photograph a dog or video a dog or a cat and like their lights, their, their, their eyes, like they're, they're bright, they light up because of just the camera and just the way that it is. Um, it could be another animal, but nah, bro. If, I, I feel like if it was another animal, they would have scrapped already. If it was another dog, they would have scrapped already. If it was a cat, they would have fought already, right? And you're in your backyard. Nothing else is in your backyard, I'm assuming. So, I don't know. However, what the camera saw and what she saw... I'm pretty sure that what she saw is also what the camera saw. So she probably also saw those bright little fucking eyes. I don't know. Now the video abruptly ends here and was reposted to the internet by social media outlets that just don't bother to credit the source. So with no explanation, it's hard to say exactly what's going on here. But the dog's freaked out reaction is strange. So just what do you think this dog is seeing looking back from the darkness? I don't know, but whatever it is, that dog's like, do it, bitch. Do it. Do it one time. Do it two, two, do it two times. It, it, it'll be your last move. First, a young woman in Japan claims that her grandmother kept a cursed photo album locked in one of her cupboards. The woman believes that her grandmother might have dabbled in dark magic and mm. that the cursed photo album and her grandmother's bruja strange rituals might have led to her grandfather's strange unexplained death 12 years earlier she put a her grandfather on. allegedly took his own life inside the home mm. but the circumstances were very suspicious the young woman says that for her part she once viewed the cursed album herself but that she became seriously ill immediately afterwards It almost looks like someone. Hmm. Hmm. Look at these photographs. It almost looks like someone tried to set these photos on fire. And it said that the husband took his own life. Hmm. And she dabbled in some dark magic. Maybe the husband had enough of this fucking witchery and said. Uh-uh. We're burning this shit. And she was like, Now! There goes the husband. I don't know. I don't know, but it almost seems like someone tried to set these photos on fire and get rid of it. Almost like, fuck this shit. Burn it, right? Mmm. Since then, the young woman's grandmother has passed away. But she is still afraid of the home and the creepy photo album. She asked anonymous paranormal investigator Conico to remove and destroy the album, warning him that everyone who views the photo album becomes ill and that some of her family even believes that the cursed album can possess the viewer. So Conico explores the old abandoned home and finds the album, but he too starts to become ill and is forced to quickly leave the house, leaving behind both his phone and camera as he dashes out. Wow. YouTube channel Fourth Wall is contacted and asked to retrieve his equipment and analyze the footage. What they find is downright chilling. You gotta be hella afraid and petrified to just like leave your belongings like that. You could have easily taken it. You could have easily picked it up and grabbed it and just like, shit, I'm scared, grab it. Boom, doesn't take that long. You really got to seriously be petrified and afraid for your life to just like say, fuck this $2,000 camera, this $900 phone, this $75 tripod, fuck it. I don't need it. I don't care. I'm out. This is not for me, right? You got to truly be petrified for that to, for that to happen.
Recovered footage from a phone that was used as a static camera shows a portrait of the woman's late grandfather just falling to the floor for unknown reasons. But Bro, I'm telling you, I, I, I think the grandfather tried to burn this album and the grandmother wasn't having it and uh, grandfather may have gotten got. I mean, I could be wrong. I'm just speculating here, but photo of the grandfather. Grandma might be fucking pissed. But that's not all. Because Kaneko has actually recorded the moment he found and looked through the cursed photo album on camera. Something happens that Kaneko claims that he doesn't remember at all. Something terrifying. Unknown reasons, the album is in a strange state of decay. Okay, well, I, man, then I guess just forget what I said about someone trying to set the pictures on fire. I gotta rewind. Hold on. Hold on now. God, it's going too fast. He's going to pause it, but I, 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 maybe, hold on. Did you see it? Kaneko hears a strange sound coming from somewhere inside the house. But when he turns to look, someone can be seen kneeling behind the glass. 
I didn't see that at all. Holy ass. Ass of a sliding door. But Connick. I thought I saw something, but it wasn't that. <laughs> Jesus. Co says there was no one else inside that house with him. After analyzing the footage, YouTube channel Fourth Wall believes that the woman's grandmother might have been responsible for her grandfather's death. I'm telling you. I said, I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you. And that his spirit is unable to move on. Watcher in the woods. It said that the they said that the photos were in some kind of strange form of decay, uh, which is that that, that that's very weird for that to be a, a I mean, maybe when you're dealing in witchcraft, I mean, maybe uh, because I got plenty of pictures of me when I was a kid. And those photos are like fo those photos are like 30 years old and they're still perfectly fine. Right. I, I really want to subscribe to the belief that grandpa had enough of this witchery and tried to set this album on fire. Grandma caught him in the act and did away with grandpa, said it was a suicide. So that was my theory from the beginning too, yeah. YouTuber Creepy Outdoors frequently sets out to explore and spend the night deep in the wilderness of Canada. On one of these trips, he sets up camp just like any other night and scouts through the woods with a flashlight and a GoPro camera. But this time, something very unexpected happens and things take a creepy turn. Oh no, oh, no. Oh, hi. What the hell? Nah. I pooped my pants. <laughs> I need to get out of here. Oh boy. I need to get out of here. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh. Okay. That was f***ing creepy. I need to get out of here. The camper thinks he hears movement in the remote woods, so he cuts his flashlight so he can't be seen. But the joke is on I'm running so fast bro I'm breaking Olympic records move over Usain Bolt I'm br I'm, br I'm 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 running so fast <laughs> I'm running so fast and I'm probably pissing and shitting myself in the process but it's fine cuz I'm fucking out Ugh. him because just then a high pitched voice can be heard calling out I see you Oh, hi. And then now he's feeling a little on edge and wondering if there might. That's him being afraid. Oh, hi. Um, thing, person that I can't see. Okay. I'm going to go fuck myself. That's good. That's, that's great. Yes. <laughs> Be someone or something <laughs> no, no. stalking him no. in the dark woods. He decides to just quickly head back to the safety of his camp. The experienced explorer says this is the scariest sound he's ever heard in the woods. Even though he was somewhere deep in the Canadian wilderness and completely removed from any towns or cities, he says that he hopes that the voice belonged to just a fellow camper having a laugh. I hope that too. For your sake, I hope that too. I hope that's what it was. I hope that's what it was, but you know what? It doesn't matter. Have your laugh. You scared the shit out of me. Quite literally, I'm gone. Man, like, mm. that sounded like a female voice, didn't it? Didn't it? I don't really. Uh, if it's a camper having a laugh and a camper playing fuck fuck games, this is behavior I would expect from a man, not from a female. I, I don't really think that females are up for the fuck fuck games when they're camping, especially when it's dark especially when it's cold, especially when you're far removed from any kind of uh, medical services and or police services. Uh, th that's more of a male thing to, to, to fuck with you in the woods or like try to scare you. That was a female voice. At least I feel. Sounded like a kid to you? I don't know.